Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about just playing with some free motion work. We're going to be doing some doodling. I just love to doodle with my machine. It's uh, so much fun. There's no real guidelines. There's no boundaries. You can do whatever you like. It's kind of using the sewing, the needle on the sewing machine as a drawing tool. So you're drawing with the thread, uh, but it's not something to be frightened of, it's something to just play with and really enjoy. So I've got a couple of examples of things that I've done here. This is a table runner that I've made where I have had no set design in mind when I've made it. I've simply just quilted. It's a nice linen fabric with some batting in it and I've just quilted along the length of it and I've just stopped every so often. It's kind of because it's green a little bit like peas in a pod. However, it was just randomly quilted with no particular plan as I said. So that's kind of fun for a table runner or something like that. You could use it for cushions, quilts, bags, all sorts of things. This one here is a quilt um, that I made where the quilting is probably not as obvious because of the piecework is a little bit distracting but it was more of a matter of just doing some doodle quilting as a way of quilting. I can show you the back which shows up the actual quilting probably a little bit better. So here I have literally just doodled and played. You can see I've had a wonderful time. I've done a little bit of meandering. I've done some sort of lines. I've done some sort of whatever those things are, um, some circles. I've just played. I just think it's so much fun. This is a really good opportunity to practice your free motion, but also you can use this. You could do a whole piece of fabric and cut it down into smaller pieces for placemats, coasters, bags, you can make your own fabric basically. You can draw with your sewing machine so it doesn't just have to be pattern, it could be pictures but I'm just going to show you some sort of design things today. So I've just got here a square, battered square sandwich. Oh, isn't it so good how so much food comes into quilting? It's so just delicious. So we've got a sandwich here that we're going to quilt and there's nothing on it, there's no markings. And, and I'm just going to start quilting and just see where it goes. I'm not really uh, concerned about it. It could end up as something. It could end up as a cushion top. It could end up being chopped up into small pieces. I don't know yet, but I thought we'd have some fun. So I've got my free machine set up for free motion. I've dropped my feet teeth. I've got my free motion foot on. And I'm just going to start somewhere and see where we go. So starting right from the edge so that I can use the whole piece as a fabric. So I might just create a section, I might just get tired of going any further that way. Or I might think, oh, this would be a nice place for a leaf shape. And I might come back along the same line as I've been on in order to get somewhere else and I might draw some little leaf sections. looking a little bit much the same again now so I might just start filling in some little spaces here for no good reason. So you can see I'm really just having fun. Well, we might leave the leaf there so we can keep doing something else. We'll just come back to a point where we can just take off at another tangent. Then we might do something a bit more decorative out here.
then we might think, well, we might have had enough of that, so maybe we'll do something else. We might do it here. Then we might draw him back into our leaf, but we don't want to just have a line there in a big space. So perhaps we'll just fill that space in here and just do some Well, that's all very nice, but let's fill that in a little bit. We'll come up along the other way as well. So I'm having fun. Are you? So you can see where I'm going. I'm just playing. I'm literally just doodling as I go with the sewing machine. Such a great way to gain some confidence with your free motion. Just keep going here. You can come back and fill in other areas later, but in the meantime, you can just really get a feel for just moving your fabric around, learning some control. You might want to do, like I've done those little peas in the pot might do that so we make ourselves a little pod and then we're just going to do some little circles in there. Sometimes it might be helpful to give yourself a little barrier before the next section, in which case I would just perhaps do another little line that's fairly close to the one I've already done, like a double outline, and that just gives you a little bit of a break so that if you want to put something else in, it's not running into it. And you might get there and you think, oh, that's looking nice, but oh, I think I quite like some little scallops around here. So we might come back and do some double scallops. limit to the sorts of things you can do. Um, I could go on and do more but then you'll just be watching me play and really you should be playing yourself. So while you've just watched me just for a few minutes I've done all that I will continue on and do that whole square and find that I can use that piece of quilted fabric 
as a practice, but also then use it in something. I mean, how cute would little um, placemats or, or things like that be, or little mug mats, but even like little quilted bags and things. You can just do all your doodle quilting and then you can turn it into something. So you've been practicing along the way, but then you can use it. How good is that? So have a little go at some doodling. You'll find it so much fun. Don't get all stressed about it. Just relax. Just let it take you. If you're not happy with the first one, don't panic. Just keep going and you'll get into the flow of it. It just takes a little bit of practice to get that control, but go and have some doodling.